If I hear Uncle Sam one more time, I'm gonna stop on the side of the trail and bury you under a pile of rocks. I'm trying to get that thing going, man. You got the stars and bars. That's Uncle Sam style. Yeah, I don't know. If it's not Uncle Sam, it's some Euros yelling George Bush at me. I guess they'll be. You wanna be Nacho? I guess they'll be yelling Obama this year. So how'd the race go? Is that the uh, typical West Coast style you're looking for out there? Yeah, I wasn't sure how I'd go, and I feel like I'm a little bit fitter this year than I was this time last year. But the course is much harder this year, and there's nowhere to draft, and, you know, a lot changed. We saw it all come back together, and in the last five minutes of the race, all the positions swapped. Yeah. So it was fun racing, really hard, and, um, you know, Max, I'm sure he probably would have been up there the whole time had he not had that flat, and we swapped back and forth a lot. It was fun. As fun as it can be when you're dying. Yeah. So coming out west, were you expecting a typical West Coast style course, or was this kind of a shock? Well, I had seen, you know, some footage or pictures of the course, hearing it was more rocky, and I know that um, the Shawera crew was trying to put together a more mountain bikey course, and I think they achieved that here this weekend. It's a, like I said, it's an awesome course. It's the closest course I feel like we have in the U.S. to a Euro-style World Cup with the short, punchy climbs, rough, quick descents, and, you know, it's just, the thing with a course like that is there's nowhere to hide, you know, the, the best guy wins is you can't sit on and come at the end or save energy. It's pretty much flat out the whole time. All right, well, nice job, Todd. Thanks. Yeah. Oh.